Hello, this is Rob Hirschfeld with an advanced uh, video where I'm going to be showing how to install Istio using Crib, Kubernetes Rebar Integrated Bootstrap, um, which is the Kubernetes using Kube ADM installer integrated to Rebar. And so there's a ton of videos on that. It's super fast. It's simple. Um, we have a lot of docs also. Please check those out. Um, I'm not going to show you all that. This is just focused on Istio and along those lines our advanced Helm because we use Helm to install Istio. So I have a cluster that's already been prepped. If I come over to workflows, what you'll see here is I have this prep uh, to cluster which basically installs etcd, installs uh, crib, run, which is actually the Kubernetes install, and then runs our Helm stage which has been enhanced to give a lot more control which was necessary for Istio but you could use it to install any Helm chart, uh, even complex ones that require prep and, and post configuration steps and things like that. So really excited about um, this new Helm capability that, that enables us to install Istio or pretty much anything. And I'll, I'll walk you through that. Uh, this was all set up using the zero to cluster or zero to prep, sorry. Um, and in, that, in this case, it basically takes us through the crib steps all the way through installing the Kubernetes pieces and parts like that because I don't want you to have to wait while I stall for time. Um, it only takes seven minutes to install crib, but even so. So what, what we have here is um, a Helm chart parameter that I have to add to crib. And I want that to come from, I want to use the Istio reference example. So in this case, you'll see we have some JSON under Helm charts here. It's in a pro reference profile. And I can and literally just take this, uh, take this, this JSON and I'll explain what it does after I get it rolling. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to go back to my crib installer. I'm going to edit that profile and I'm going to add the Helm charts array. So here I have that parameter. I'm going to take and paste what I just did. Okay, I'll show you what this looks like in a second. I'm just going to set it up and get it rolling so I can explain what these features are. Excellent. So now my crib profile includes the required cluster profile information and the charts that I want to execute as part of that deployment. Pretty straightforward stuff um, in a normal uh, crib deployment. And so what I want to do from there is I want to take these machines that are now prepped and ready and I'm going to run them through uh, into prep to cluster. So that just continues. So I broke the workflow in half so I could make edits and changes and demos and now I'm just going to let the workflow complete in this case. So here I'll go, starts the workflow, and it's jumping straight into what you'd expect. So etcd config, and then it'll set up the cluster, elected the masters, it's installing the cluster. Yay, all that's good. So let me show you uh, what this Helm um, example could be, because um, we actually have some docs over here. Uh, so this is actually the YAML from the community about what the Helm charts parameter is, and this is just the doc. So this, this information gets bundled into our doc generator and then it's available as part of the Reberta digital documentation. Um, and what you'll see here is we have a whole bunch of parameters that I could set. Um, this is an example. Um, we use some of them, most of them, for the uh, Istio example, but they're not all required. Um, and then uh, they're all defined actually in our JSON schema definition. So I need a chart. Uh, this is a MySQL chart as reference. So this chart is our Istio chart. You'll notice here this is actually pretty well defined. Um, if you look in the docs for Istio, this is what they tell you to install. And then if I come in and say the name, I have to. I want to supply a name. Our charts require that. Um, in this case, the Istio chart is actually being installed from the GitHub releases, and so we need the, the tar GZ for that. So all I have to do is provide that. It'll download it and run it. Um, I want a namespace in this case. Usually we want namespace on Helm charts. I'm going to add an extra parameter. This is the default one, but I included it for reference. I'm going to tell it to sleep for 10 seconds. I could, if I had a slow set of installs, I could increase that time. I do want it to wait, which means that the um, plan is going to wait until all of the um, containers are done uh, being installed and they're all running. Uh, so I, I can control that. So if I had to do something that depended on an Istio as the next chart, I could do that. And then if I wanted to do some uh, kubectl commands before or after to set up an environment or make settings, I could actually do a, a list of kubectl commands before or after and after 
uh, I run that chart. So this allows you to actually really bake in some very complex stuff, and we'll probably keep growing this as we find more things. I've been looking at other complex Helm chart installs like uh, OpenStack Helm uh, to make sure that I covered the, the, the needs that people would have in building complex uh, linked charts. And so you could literally just build a, a list of charts to execute in order with all sorts of information injected into them. So enough of that. Uh, at this point, we're already through. Make sure we're up to speed. Yep, we're, <laughs> it's already running through. We only run Helm on the, the, the leader. And so we're going through some configuration and settings and we'll get to the Helm chart in just a second. At this point, the cluster's built. Um, so you'll see I have a kube, ad, kube cuddle admin config file. Um, and now it's installed on the dashboard. So what I need to do here to run it from command lines, I need to get that admin comp file. So I just did that. This is this DRP CLI command uh, gets the admin comp from the profile, just like I was showing you, except this does a command line. And so now if I say kubectl uh, get nodes, this will show me all of the nodes in the cluster. Yay. Uh, and if I say uh, helm init, it'll initialize using that, that file. And then and I, I just didn't do the client only, so it's telling me Tiller's already installed, which is exactly what I want to know. And then if I say Hil Helm list, it'll show me um, what's installed, which right now is nothing because it hasn't started the uh, initialization sequence. Now it has. So let's jump over to Crib Helm and see what's going on. So this is the live log. And you'll see as we go, it's idempotent. So if it was already installed when I ran this a second time, it would see that uh, the chart, the name Istio was there and skip it. Uh, in this case, it's downloading the chart. It's now, it's actually done the deploy. So we get that whole output from the deploy. And then, because I have wait set to true, it's going to still do, huh, this is where it actually did, yeah, it's waiting, it's still creating containers. So we're going to get notices that that namespace is not complete. And I'll show you exactly what that's doing over here. So if I do helm list now, We'll see that that chart's deployed, but that's not really everything we care about. What we want to do, you can see my commits. Here we go. I'm going to look at the namespace, and in the namespace for Istio, we still are creating some containers. So the system behind the scenes is literally waiting until all of the containers in that namespace are running. That allows you to create install multiple charts and not have the dependency graph of those charts um, break because it's basically just flipping through them as fast as it can. Uh, if you don't wait, then you'll flip through it as fast as you can, and that's a really good way to get a whole cluster up and running um, without having these delays. Uh, now we're done. It's finished. Uh, the cluster is now completely up, and now I have Istio running in my cluster, uh, completely automated. Uh, no extra steps. You could do this for any Helm chart, of course. Uh, it's helpful that Istio uses Helm. Um, and now I've got my whole uh, system up and running. And I don't have any pods to find. Um, so that is the Istio demo for adding Istio to Digital Rebar. I hope you can follow this. It's pretty darn simple. Um, we're super excited about how easy uh, Kubernetes is and how uh, we're trying to leverage what we think is a great platform uh, that's easy, fast to use, has a really strong ecosystem, and just uh, bring that into bare metal automation. Uh, if you're interested in more about the project, uh, rebar.digital, uh, ch check, check with us. We'd love to talk about this stuff, uh, and we'd be happy to get your feedback on, on how this looks. This is Rob Hirschfeld signing out.